How to make great downloadable PDFs. This is a tutorial on adding audio and video. Adding audio or video to your PDF is a wonderful enhancement, but remember there are a few little sticky points. Adding audio or video will make the file significantly larger, and embedding audio and video is not yet an option that works on tablets like iPad or Fire. So be sure you uh, make this known to your customers before they purchase it to avoid upsetting them. Let's start with audio. MP3s and MP4 files embed easily and are readily available, so we re recommend that you stick with them. For video, we are working in Acrobat 9, which can embed Flash easily and it can convert other formats to Flash to embed. This process does not need an external player. If you're working on an older version of Acrobat, you can still place AVI or QuickTime files, but they will need an external viewer. We only recommend embedding with Flash because it's much simpler and it has the onboard player. It's a really simple thing to do and let me show you how. Let's just open up a regular PDF format book. Here we have our little sample book. I'm going to show you how to add audio first. Let's go down to uh, the beginning of the chapter here where it has a quote and let's say that for example we wanted to put an audio clip of somebody reading that quote. Let's go underneath our tools menu and we're going to go to multimedia. And we're just going to go right here to our sound tool. It'll give us a little cross hatch and we want to just select where we want our audio file to go. I, mean, I know that it's going to be a long thin play bar so I'm just going to make a box that's the right size. Then we'll look on our desktop for it. Here it is. And it'll tell us that it's going to convert it and that it's going to play in flash which is fine so we'll hit OK. And then it gives us um, the ability to uh, uh, edit it or to activate it. We just have to click on it with the left click bar to activate it. If we right click on it, it'll give us a chance to set properties. Now in the properties menu, as you can see, it's a huge menu, but in the properties menu, it basically just gives you uh, the opportunity to um, have a little bit of control over things. Uh, I'm not going to um, change any of the settings in here because they all work the way that I want it to already. So I'm just going to click OK, which you can't see, it's off the screen. And then we come back to the page and I'm just going to click it to activate. It'll take a second for it to embed the file and then it starts playing right away. So we know that the file is playing just fine. And it'll sit in there, the viewer, so you can come off the page and come back and it'll tell you to click to activate. And it'll just start playing automatically when you click it. But you can still pause, fast forward, and rewind. You can even set the volume inside the player. Now let's add a video file. Let's find a nice blank page. Let's say that uh, an award of excellence was awarded to somebody and here's the film of why they got the award of excellence. It's going to place right here on this page. Again, we go under tools. We're going to go to multimedia and we're putting in a flash uh, file so we can use a flash tool or the video tool. They both work pretty much the same way uh, if you're using a flash file. But if you're using an AVI or QuickTime, you have to use the video tool. And again, I shy away from recommending that because it does not come with an embedded player. So let's use the flash tool. It'll give us the cross hatch again and we're just going to make a nice big box here for our movie to go into. And then it'll ask us to find it. Here's our little, whoops, our little video. And it'll tell us that it's going to embed it. And that's fine. So we're going to click OK. It takes a minute just to uh, code it and embed it. And then there it is. Okay, so what we have here, it has a little play button down here on the bottom, and again, we can right-click on it to set the properties. Because this is a flash file, it'll have more properties that we can set. We again have the same information we did for the first one, where we can um, set playback styles and stuff like that. But we also have a flash menu if you want to write in some um, flash scripting, and a resource menu if you want to uh, add resources if there's flash files that play within this flash file kind of thing. I'm going to click OK, which you can't see is off the screen. And then I'm going to click the button to let it activate. And as you can see now, it's playing the file in there. When we come off the page and come back, the picture will still be there. and We just have to click the play button to get it to play. Remember to save your file when you're done. I hope you are surprised at just how easy it is to embed audio and video in your PDF. I hope you use it sparingly when it's important, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.